This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to the heart of pheasant country in central South Dakota with a group of friends from Wisconsin and Minnesota as they make their annual trip for the opener of the pheasant season. For many members of the group, this is not only an opportunity for great pheasant hunting, but a chance to rekindle old friendships, relive old memories of past hunts, and create new memories that will last a lifetime. Awesome buck. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know that spending time with your family is important. That's why we won't waste your time with any high-pressure sales tactics or extended service wait time. Just fair and affordable pricing on new and pre-owned vehicles and honest, straightforward service long after the sale. Ram 1500, Motor Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Not once, but twice. That's right, twice. Whether you're from near or far, we want you to feel right at home at Colby Chrysler. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home, Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. You know, traditions continue to shape many of our outdoor activities. Well, on this week's show, we travel to Burke, South Dakota with a group of friends from Minnesota and Wisconsin for an early season pheasant hunt. Well, this pheasant opener hunt is as much tradition as the Minnesota Viking Green Bay Packer football game, which just so happens to be taking place on this very weekend. Let's take along as the guys reunite at a farmhouse on the prairie in South Dakota. My name's Tom Waterbury. I'm from Gregory, South Dakota. We do guided pheasant hunts in Gregory County. We've got the group that's here now that's from Minnesota and Wisconsin. They come out and they really enjoy themselves. It's some guys that get together once a year and they love to get together and hang out at the lodge and just have a good time. And it's fun to get to know these people and you become friends with them and you look forward to seeing them every year. The season starts the third Saturday in October and runs through the first weekend in January. The daily bag limit is, is three birds with 15 in possession over five days.
We have about 2,500 acres of ground that we hunt, and we hunt a little bit of everything. We've got some draws and waterways, shelter belts. We got a lot of food plots, milo and corn, and some grasslands. I'm Rob Zekris from Weston, Wisconsin. I've been coming out here to hunt birds with Tom Waterbury in uh, the Gregory, South Dakota area for, I think this is about our eighth or ninth year. Um, look forward to it every year. We got a great group of guys. We got four or five guys that come from the central Wisconsin area. We got four or five guys that we met up that have become really good friends now from the Minneapolis, St. Paul area. And uh, this is our one time year to get together and you know tell tales of uh, hunts past, present, and future and make a lot of great memories. Yeah, we're gonna just work straight back to the road. Just spread out. Oh, here. So we're gonna be on the we're yeah. gonna be on the road. Yeah, that's fine. Shot from the that's road. That's tough terrain to work. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. So it's first morning here in South Dakota. We're about to walk this bottom. We just made a pass up here. We got a few birds. There seem to be quite a few birds around. Great bunch of guys we've got out here hunting. Hi, I'm Jim Young. I'm from Marshfield, Wisconsin. Um, originally from Minnesota. When you get this many guys in a, in a pheasant hunting camp, it's something to see. It's uh, really something to experience. It doesn't matter where they're from, who they are, what they do for a living. When you get out here, it's just all, everybody's the same. We're just hunting pheasants. We're just having a good time. Rooster! Mike Serwa from Hatley, Wisconsin. Typically when you get down to the end is when the excitement happens. You know, the birds start flying and shooting going off and birds are popping up and, and obviously we gotta make sure that they're male pheasants that you're shooting. So, you know, that, that puts a interesting dynamic to it, trying to discern whether it's a hen or, or, a, or, or a rooster and getting to the end of this push here and we're getting a lot of birds coming up. So, it's fun stuff. Oh, Ginger's birdie as hell. Watch it. Watch her. Dead bird, Ginger. Find him. Good girl. Good girl. Get him. Ginger. Ginger. Dead bird. Nobody comes out here and doesn't miss a pheasant. Missing doesn't matter. And if you've never had the opportunity to experience this kind of camaraderie, it, it, it's, it's incredible. It's truly incredible. You're truly among friends. Hi, my name is uh, Tom Dietz, I'm from Plymouth, Minnesota, and I've been coming out to South Dakota for two years now. We have you know, a lot of grass, 
uh, a lot of pasture, a lot of open areas. And uh, in between that, you have your cultivated or, or harvested fields, and then you have your cover, uh, maybe a, a valley or a draw with some brush, trees, uh, and uh, typically that's where we're hunting. The more cover, the more habitat, the better. That's what the, the birds like and that's what they need. What we'll do is just walk up past these evergreens and spread out in that corn and just walk that back, that little patch of corn there. And I'll take three guys down just to block on the end of this. There's just a lot of population of birds. We started working that field and the action started happening and it's happening so quickly that you feel like you've got to, I mean, you, you've got to shoot fast because there's a lot of good shots in this group. But when it starts happening, you can't be just stuck on that bird and wondering what happened to it because there's another three or four getting up over here. And I think, it, as it turned out, I, I want to say we pulled down, in the matter of maybe 20 minutes, probably 15 or 20 birds. That's what they call a honey hole, huh? Hi, I'm John Hauge. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. When the action's hot and the birds are flying all over the place, there's some lead in the air. and. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of, it's a, it makes it a lot of fun. Well, I think initially the thing about coming to South Dakota to hunt, especially this time of year, is it's just gorgeous. I mean, the blue sky, the golden fields, I mean, there's something that kind of I, I always tell people, it, you know, I grew up watching Wild World of Sports and there was, you know, uh, Ernest Hemingway hunting and that image of what pheasant hunting should be like in these beautiful golden fields, it's, that's what it's like out here. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Kubota. Value Implement, MBS, and VMC. Now is the time to go to your local Kubota dealer and get great financing on a brand new, powerful, feature-loaded Kubota Standard L-Series tractor during our Gear Up and Go sales event. With Kubota, you get durability, versatility, and value. Make a great deal on a Kubota L-Series with zero down and 0% APR financing for up to 60 months during Kubota's Gear Up and Go sales event. Go to Eau Claire Area Kubota Dealers.com and get something started today. Value Implement serves all of West Central Wisconsin and knows more stores plus more selection equals more value. And value means providing our customers with a wide variety of quality Kubota products. Value means providing outstanding Kubota product knowledge and customer service. Value means providing the largest selection of Kubota products at six convenient locations. Value Implement. More stores. More selection. More value. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. Really?
You're seriously just gonna leave me in here? Yeah, I'm fishing deep today, Ike. Are you kidding me? These are perfect conditions for pulling big bass out of heavy cover. Yeah? Heck yeah! Try one of these weedless wacky jigs. All right, yeah. It, it has an offset hook and stainless steel weed guard. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Ike. Flip it in there, and its wacky action will have you pulling out one fat bass after another. Please! I can't say anything. We love to see the photos of the fish you catch and the animals you harvest here on Outdoor Bound TV. And this season, there are some incredible prizes just for sharing your pictures with us here on the show. Winning entries will be selected to receive great prizes, including an assortment of plastic baits from Woodcraft Lures, a professional fish mounting by Mike Liga Taxidermy, a rugged Yeti cooler from Petrix Service Station, or the grand prize, a salmon fishing trip aboard the Grand Illusion 2 on Lake Michigan with Hosh Guide Service. You can submit your photos on the Outdoor Bound TV Facebook page, tag your picture on Twitter, or email your entry to photos at outdoorbound.tv. Be sure to include your full name and hometown with each entry. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photos. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Now, before we left for the break, we were hunting pheasants in central South Dakota with a group of friends from Wisconsin and Minnesota that have made this annual trip part of their hunting tradition. Let's head back to the Golden Fields near Burke, South Dakota right now. My name's John Papp. I've been hunting with this group of guys for seven years now. Some of the guys have been coming out for about 12, so it's been a lot of fun, a lot of good guys from just having a great time out here, South Dakota pheasant hunting. Whether you're posting or pushing, it doesn't matter. There's always birds to shoot at. It's not, uh, I've hunted game farms at home, but I'll tell you what, this tops that 100%. There's nothing like wild birds. They are awesome to shoot. Drop it, Jen. Drop it. Good girl. My name's Travis White. I'm from Weston, Wisconsin. This is my first year coming out to South Dakota hunt pheasants. How do you explain the, the feeling? I don't know. It's, it's almost, it, it, there's not really any good way to explain it. I mean, it, it's an experience in and of itself that it's hard to replicate in any other situation. And, um, you know, that heart rate quickens. Um, typically you're firing off a shot or two maybe a little early because you're just a little excited. Um, but seeing that rush of birds come out, seeing the dogs going and retrieving them, um, your comrades, you know, smiling and laughing and having a good time and uh, just, you, you can't beat it, you know, it's awesome. <laughs> that was fun. That's amazing, isn't it? 
This year the birds are down a little bit, but we're still managing to get our get our fill of pheasants and having fun with the guys. So this is where it gets exciting. Uh, oftentimes a lot of this cover, the birds will run. You, you'll kick up a bird here and there, just enough to keep you interested throughout the run. But typically you get to the end of any particular push, all of a sudden they, it's, it's almost simultaneous. You just see all the dogs locked down and, and that first rooster kicks up and the next thing you know, the sky's just you know full of them. Not bad. That was fun. about to run this corn. Uh, we've been doing this for 10 years and every year it's a good five day hunt that we have and uh, so far this year it's been a real good hunt too so the action's gonna be pretty good. My name is Dave Hoppy. I live in Bloomington, Minnesota, and I've been coming out to South Dakota for about 10 years now. You get into these flurries of uh, birds out here where uh, the action is so fast and furious. The birds are flying up in all directions and, and you know they're falling down in all directions. You're trying to reload and, and get ready to shoot again when the next rooster busts. And, and then afterwards, you're trying to remember where they all fell down and, and gather your dogs in again to, to find them all. and, and uh, you know, get ready for the next trip. For more information about hunting pheasants with Dakota birds, contact Tom or Stan Waterbury at the information on the screen. You know, with having the two groups of guys from Wisconsin and Minnesota, we've got our own uh, NFL favorites. To have the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings match up tonight on Sunday Night Football, and there may be some wagers placed, and we'll see who's hunting and what clothes tomorrow. So I'm a Vikings fan. I'm hoping for the best. The boys from Minnesota are kind of sweating it right now. People from Wisconsin have a big chip on their shoulder. Well, I grew up in Minnesota, so I'm a Viking fan, of course. I'm sure there'll be some jawing back and forth. The Vikings are clearly the superior team. Pretty exciting. They're just kind of razzing each other. and. Packers are doing good. Packers have a bit of an inferiority complex. I don't know, the Vikings are struggling this year. What they anticipate is going to be a blowout. 86 to 2 Green Bay. They are Packers fans, but what can you do? The Wisconsin boys are feeling pretty good about their chances. I'm a little worried about some of them. It's all fun. I mean, it is all fun. We do rib each other quite a bit, but it's all been good fun. It's a very diverse group. Uh, at the end of the day, though, I think we all value the same types of things. You know? It's a lot of fun just ribbing each other and just uh, having a good time. That's what makes it all so rewarding and coming back and seeing the ga same guys over and over again. Good food, good stories, hanging out, hanging out around the fire. We're not even done with the hunt yet and I'm already looking forward to next year coming out here. Doesn't matter where they come from, doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter what they do for a living. We all enjoy one common love and I think it's hunting. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission. HHA Sports, True Fire Releases, and Suffix. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. 
the optimizer speed dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle, and the optimizer horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for optimizer at a dealer near you. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a Hardcore Forefinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Suffolk Safe 32 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk's 832. Always use the best line. Product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. Wow, look at the beautiful colors on these pheasants here in South Dakota. If you've never considered coming to South Dakota, you need to take a look at doing this. This is just a ton of fun. The birds are plentiful here and the accommodations and the people are just wonderful incredible bird. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Beautiful bird. Cut, cut back 15 seconds. If you talk to somebody that doesn't have kids, and you try to explain to them how rewarding it is to have kids. That's what it's like to hunt with your own dog versus not hunting with a dog or hunting with somebody else's dog. What happens in bird camp kind of stays in bird camp. You couldn't ask for a better group. Um, a couple better shots maybe, but I don't know all this TV lingo. Should have put my Packer shirt on for this interview. Mm -hmm.